Good evening. Uh, I am Tony Dottino, a founder of the USA Memory Championship, and I am happy, I am really excited to announce this evening that we finally have got all of the pieces, players, uh, uh, events uh, uh, planned out for the um, virtual USA Memory Championship uh, in November of this year. Uh, I'm pre-announcing that now. Uh, we have some details that will get posted to the website. Uh, we've got some details on how you'll go about to register, but we're excited about the fact that Lumosity will be a sponsor of the event. Uh, MIT is going to be the coordinator of the virtual uh, hosting of it on Zoom. And uh, we'll follow some of the same things we've done in the live events, which will be, we'll start with qualifying events and then we'll go to what we call stage events. And uh, I'm excited about the fact that Though it's taken us some time, so the first piece for my audience that you need to know is the first piece of it uh, that delayed us, obviously, was, you know, we kept keeping our fingers crossed. We kept hoping, hoping, and hoping that uh, COVID-19 was going to allow us to go live. We, we had everything set for the Kresge Auditorium. We've had people that have been asking us about it. We've had TV people, uh, film people, uh, Yes, we, we had a lot of good things that were going on. We had Penn State that was going to host our preliminary, uh, and uh, it just didn't happen. So uh, it has been the team's goal, but let's do, let's do a virtual. The world is turning virtual. virtual. Uh, we're playing different sports with empty arenas, so though we're not going to pull uh, mental athletes together, uh, which was one of the thoughts I had I thought we could do, we couldn't figure out how to do qualifying and then the live uh, final competition. But uh, the good news is, as of this weekend, uh, we've got all of the different players together, and I'm comfortable that we now have a virtual event that we'll do uh, in November. Uh, and uh, the, we'll finalize the date. We just need to take a couple pieces in play. But right now, we're tentatively uh, scheduling November 14th, November 14th. Uh, we kicked around November 7, uh, but uh, if any of you are paying attention to our crazy uh, election this year, we thought going from Tuesday to Saturday, uh, November 7th, would have been a little bit risky with all the craziness that may or may not go on, who knows, uh, with the politics and the election that we have coming up this year for 2020. So with that, uh, I, I've asked the team if it'd be okay for me to at least uh, give my Live with Tony listeners uh, the opportunity uh, to get in on this uh, a little bit ahead of the, the rest of the world and uh, know that uh, November 14 is the tentative date and details will be coming out. We just need to get back out to the website and uh, off we go. Uh, for any of you that have been a part of the Maximum Memory Mastery online course, uh, the skills that are in that will certainly uh, be of value to you in terms of helping you to be a mental athlete. And uh, what I always like about the mental athletes is they're people that uh, just want to do a benchmark. They want to just see um, how they uh, progressed in their own lives and how they progressed in practicing memory skills and techniques, and they do it at their own pace. And in the Maximum Memory Mastery online course, the thing that I like about that is we break it up into segments and you can practice those segments and uh, off you go. So uh, we'll, we'll be announcing uh, shortly what the uh, events will be and this way you'll have an opportunity to dive into the, uh, the maximum memory mastery if you want to hone up some of your skills and you can look at that online uh, program and it'll help you uh, get prepped for a couple of the events we'll have which I will be talking about in more detail once we get that posted up on our website. But for tonight, all I want to do is respond to the emails that we're getting, the requests that we're having. Uh, we don't know how many people will eventually sign in. Uh, the good news, because it is virtual, uh, there's not a limit that we're seeing right now as to how many people can, can have some fun with this and play. Uh, it is, uh, there will not be uh, any prizes awarded at this time. 
uh, but we're giving people the opportunity to use this as something that would be fun, something that uh, they'll enjoy, and keep the spirit of the USA Memory Championship alive in the year of 2020. Uh, the other thing that I think is important is we are uh, we're tentatively looking at, you know, fingers crossed, April of 2021 to go back to live qualifying and uh, September of 2021 to do the MIT event with Lumosity and everything going back to hopefully uh, a semi-normal situation. Uh, so <clears throat> that's... Uh, those dates are tentative. We're shooting for April and September so that at least I give uh, my mental athletes that have been interested in it this year and have been so gracious about signing up for it and then being patient as we kept our fingers crossed and hoping that we would be able to do uh, an event this year live. Uh, but I do appreciate the people that have been patient with us, have emailed, have, have kept in touch, uh, have wanted to compete. And uh, I want this, this year's event to be a fun event uh, for people that, that do elect to become a part of it. Uh, I don't want this to be a stressful thing. And uh, it's a great opportunity since there's no registration fee. Uh, it's a great opportunity for any of the folks that have been practicing memory and working with the mental uh, uh, skills of it and learning any of the systems, be it the uh, the loci method, or be it the numbers, the person ab object, uh, uh, person action uh, object uh, methods, to, to just sign into it and give it a go and see uh, what that will take and what you've learned and how you can apply those skills to what we're going to do. But we're planning to have two events, uh, and we're thinking of starting because Lumosity is very much involved in this. We're thinking of starting somewhere around 12, 12.30 time period, and then having some speakers uh, that I think are just gonna knock people out of the park. Uh, so we've got some really good people that uh, have agreed to be a part of, of speaking at it. Some researchers that really will bring the whole topic of memory and what I call brain power to its uh, forefront. And so the good news is, is we've got a great agenda that we're starting to finalize uh, in terms of speakers and what the day or the afternoon would look like. So get your Zooms ready, uh, get your, stay, stay on top of the USA Memory Championship as well as Live with Tony and we'll keep everybody posted you know, in a combination of those as well as Lumosity will be posting out, MIT will be posting out. So we've got a, a triple uh, effort this year to really expand uh, the, the playing field to being virtual now, we're not limited to physical size uh, and we're not limited to the number of people that can be a part of this. So, uh, and our friends at Lumosity have been just amazing in their support and bringing some IT people to the table. Uh, MIT uh, has been just uh, fabulous uh, in being supportive and maintaining their interest and their, their focus behind this on virtual so they'll host the site for the virtual Zoom. And then, of course, my team, the USA Memory Championship team, with Karen Pinson, who is just endlessly uh, supportive and, and on top of this and uh, putting her efforts into getting the, the notes out and putting stuff together. Uh, I'm just blessed to have a really, really great team of, of people that are on board. So Karen uh, Pinson has been fabulous. Her daughter, Patricia, uh, has been a, a valuable resource in terms of She's in a comm media program at IUP, and she's learned so much that's helped guide us. And so she's now a senior and one of the fabulous students at IUP in uh, Pennsylvania, and has just been a, a valuable source of advice and suggestions on what's doable and what we can do and what we would have to make uh, and get help on. So that's been great. And then, of course, Michael Dottino uh, has got the, his Maximum Memory Mastery online course that's available for people that want to start to learn and practice and do some of the things that we'll be doing in the competition. But it, what's been interesting, and just to finish that up and finish tonight's broadcast up, uh, what's been interesting is uh, we've been just so delighted with the number of people that have purchased the course. A lot of the feedback we get says this has got so much more in it because of our desire to put what we call bonus materials and lessons that, that, that talk about memory 
but also about our brain health, that we're now posting some ads to it that people will be able to access that have been part of the course. And uh, I think they're going to just love it because uh, as I keep reading and the science keeps changing, I've asked Michael to work with me, or actually Michael's asked me to work with him, on what would be some of the messages coming out of my broadcast on sleep, on stress, on nutrition, on exercise, on social interactions, on mental challenges that I've done in these broadcasts. And what we want to do now is package those and put them into the Maximum Memory Mastery so people that have had the course or will be getting the course can access some things that I think are just going to be eye-opening to them and just a lot of fun for them to learn and know and have a part of their mental capacities. So stay tuned for that, which will be another <laughs> announcement I'll make. So that is my broadcast. Today is Monday, and uh, I guess we've started uh, Monday night football and uh, Sunday football and Thursday football, so college football. So uh, hopefully uh, it provides a little bit of relief for people that have been bouncing off the walls uh, during the COVID-19. So for tonight, what I want you to do, continue to encourage my Live with Tony audience, stay safe. Please, you know, be smart. Don't, don't get careless. I sometimes see our teenagers getting a bit careless as I go out and pick up takeout food. Uh, we want to get everybody through this to get to the other side and, and pick up life uh, as uh, science will help us get there uh, and be there uh, to be a part of it. So have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow sometime in the afternoon. Uh, I'm probably going to be on a little bit later if uh, I'm, I'm part of a, a class tomorrow and Friday, and I want to make sure that uh, I'm, I'm not rushing a class so that I can do a great broadcast for my Live with Tony audience. So we'll see you tomorrow afternoon sometime after 3 o'clock.